Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to the news. Nah, welcome to BMTV. Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here. Welcome to BMTV. I hope you're okay. I hope you had a good weekend. I don't need these. And I, um, yeah, hope you had a good bank holiday and, and got some time to relax, chill, do whatever it is you, you wanted to do. Um, I do want to first of all say a big thank you to Natalie Saunders from The Balloon Room for last week's BMTV. Obviously, um, we went large and uh, it was, uh, some people liked it, some people didn't like it. I thought it was a very interesting design, but I have to say in this room that we're in, the ceiling isn't as high and it's designed to actually be much bigger than it was here in this room. So, um, but I, I was really impressed. And the thing I like about our industry is people can see that and if they don't like it, they can change it, they can tweak it. And I think there's a lot of that that happens in our industry. And, and by doing that, somebody sees something that's awesome and then they add something or change something that makes it even more awesome. And then somebody else sees that and, and it, it, it just sort of develops. So I really love that about our industry. But Natalie, thank you so much for coming down. It was lovely to, to have you down here again. And um, yeah, there will be more from Natalie coming very, very soon. And if you think that was large, wait till you see the next thing. It's even larger massive anyway yes thank you natalie now talking of large and big news see what i did there big news this week is 24 inch bubbles are back in so 24 inch qualitex bubbles are back in stock now i don't know how long they're going to be in stock we've got a good number this time and i i hope that they will last a, a considerable amount of time at least until we get some more in i hope but I, i'm honestly not too sure we are still limiting them um but the limit has been been lifted a little bit so um you still won't be able to order a thousand balloons but you will be able to order quite a few. So I, I say, I don't know how long they're going to last. If you do think you're going to get through them over the coming months, it might be, be worth ordering a few. But yes, very excited to say the big news is that those bubbles are back in stock. We've got some 20 inch ones in as well, but they're not, not quite as many as we've got of the, the 24 inch ones. But we do have we do have some. We've got a decent a decent number of the twenty inch ones, as as well. Um, the now something I, I'm quite excited about, and normally I wouldn't talk about it until I've got the stock here in the building, um, but I am quite excited about it. We're extending one of our ranges, um, and it's our floristry range. So we already have the uh, artificial flowers, the artificial greenery. We've got a few accessories, a few different types of ribbon. But we're taking it further and we are doing more specific floristry things. So if you are a florist, this is the sort of thing that you'd probably pick up if you were to go to um, your, your wholesaler. So it might be different types of tape. It might be the little cards that you put with the flowers, uh, the little boxes that you might put little messages in, things like that. Um, if you want to have a look and see what we've got, we've not gone large really just yet. Um, so if you click on the new products section at balloonmarket.co.uk, you will be able to see what it is that we're getting in to start with. But yeah, quite excited about um, being able to provide florists with, with these bits and pieces that they might normally get from their wholesaler, but they're placing a balloon order. They don't want to have a whole journey just to pick something up from the wholesaler. And if we can, can help with that, that's what we want to do. And florists out there, if there's anything at all that you want us to stock, please, please, please get in touch with us and we will see if we can get that in for you. So yes, that was, I'm quite excited about that. The other thing I'm quite excited about is Linkaloons. Now, not Linkaloons in general, but Linkaloons, the reflex ones. Yes, we've got the reflex colors in um, Linkaloons now, which is great. So we've got the, the silver, the gold, and the rose gold, and we've got them in 12 inch and six inch. Honestly, I didn't really want to talk about them until Chris Horn was down here and he was able to show you something amazing um, with those balloons, but they're not allowing him out yet. So Chris, I'm really sorry. I'd love to see you down here. I'd love to love it when you come down. But if you're not allowed out, well, well, I, I hope I hope you're allowed out very, very soon. And in the interim, maybe we'll be able to do something over the camera, Internet, computer thing maybe who knows but uh chris i look forward to, to seeing you but yes we've got those reflex linker loons we've got all the linker loons but we've got the reflex linker loons as as well if you're not familiar with linker loons they've been around for years and years and years and qualitex came along with with quick links and honestly qualitex did a fantastic job of really marketing quick links 
and quick links have really taken off. But the, the link alone's similar to the quick links, and they've just you can tie them at both ends effectively. And they are, um, yeah, the, the reflex ones I think are going to go really, really well if you do anything that is using linking balloons then you want to use reflex then or you want that shiny finish then the reflex are the ones to go for at the the moment i feel like a proper newsreader so i've got my my piece of paper um right that i want to talk about something that is um it's going really, really well, and it is the, the customer collection. So if you do collect from us, thank you very much for collecting from us. But I do just want to reiterate that you've got to order before 12 and collect it the following day. So thank you to everybody that is waiting that day. But we have had a few people that are placing their order and wanted to come in the same day. We're not really set up for that at the moment, which is why basically what we do at the end of the day any of the collections that have come in, the collection orders that have come in, we try to do them at the end of the day or the beginning of the next day ready for collection. Um, and because we are not operating in the same way as we were six months ago, um, it really kind of messes up the warehouse. So it just makes it a bit more difficult for us to, to, to do things like that and, and change the processes that we've already changed to allow for these collections. So if you can, please help us with that. Uh, if you do want to collect from us, that's no problem. You're still getting it fast. I mean, at the moment, I think we're one to two days shipping time. So people are waiting three days to get their, their order. If you're collecting, you're, you're ordering one day, you're collecting it the next day. You're still getting it faster than you would if you were to have shipping. But please, please help us out and try not to um, come on the same day as ordering because we might well have to say, in fact, we will have to say, I'm sorry, you'll have to come back tomorrow to get your, your order. So we're just trying to keep everything moving, the processes working in the warehouse to get as many orders out as we, as we possibly can. Right. Now, I think that's everything on my list. Yes, it is. Um, the reason I've got the laptop in front of me is we do have a lot of new people um, ordering from us here at Balloon Market. We do have a lot of people that have ordered from us for a long time that might not know some of the things I'm going to show you. So I just wanted to show you some hints and tips about ordering on the Balloon Market website. So... If you do not have an account with us, you would have to sign up for an account. We only sell to the trade. So if you are in the trade, if you are um, a, a balloon decorator, a florist, if you use or sell balloons commercially, then you would be considered in the trade. So you might be a hotel that has parties or had parties every week, um, birthday parties for your guests and you're using them commercially, you're charging for those. Might be a balloon decorator, florist, obviously, event organizers. Um, things. If you use them commercially, then balloons, party supplies, anything we sell, then you would be in the trade. We do reject about 30% of the people that apply for an account with us um, because we are trying to protect people. That I, I don't think it's right that people, the general public, are able to pay the same as people in the trade. Um, so that is why we've done it. We do check every single account application. And sometimes we might ask you for more evidence to prove that you are in the trade if you've not been able to provide very much. We're not doing it to be awkward. We're doing, as I say, to protect everybody in our trade. And obviously we can only control what we do, but that's the reason that we do it. So, yeah, please don't don't get upset if we do ask you for more information and you are genuinely in the trade. If you are, then it's fine. You will be able to provide us with something and we will approve your account. So let's assume that you do have an account with us. I'm going to start here. Now, this is says Welcome Balloon because my name on this account is Balloon Market. So if you just click on that, that takes you to your account. Go to my account and there's a few things that, oh, I need to log in again because it logged me out. It logs you out for security reasons. So it's got my password saved. So this is the account information. Reorder items. I'm going to come back to that, but that's a really funky bit of functionality that I don't think many people make use of, but it's, it's really, really funky. Um, on here, you can view or change your account information. That's your email, your phone number. Um, view or change entries in your address book. Now you're allowed up to five addresses in your address book. I've only got a couple in here. I've got Balloon Market and Johnny Rocket. Um, so he, um, Johnny Rocket, he might be a regular customer 
and you have things sent directly from us to him. Um, or it might be that you spend most of your time at your home address, but occasionally you go to Johnny Rocket, who is a relative of yours, and you spend time there and you might want to to have things delivered there. But you can have up to five addresses in here. If you do move, please remember to change your address. We have had the situation where a few people have forgotten to change their address. They've placed an order, just gone through um, the checkout process as normal and their order has been delivered to their old address and they've had to drive over there and, and, and try and get it. So um, please be aware of, of that, right? If we go, Back to my account. Um, you can change your password. You can log out, subscribe, unsubscribe. Um, now change my product back in stock notifications. These are the email me when available um, notifications. So if we have a look at that, these are all the things that I have said I want to be notified when they're back in stock. Just to give you an example, if we go to bubbles and go to 24 inch bubbles. I've already clicked a few of them. So the, uh, what's out of stock? Let's choose something that's out of stock. Stylish stars, st stylish stars deco bubble. Just email me when available. That's all you've got to do because you're logged in on your account. You don't have to enter an email address or anything. And thanks, we'll drop your line when it's available. So if I then go back to um, where I was, and my back in stock notifications. You can see that the Stylish Stars Deco Bubble has now been added. So I will be notified as soon as these are back in stock. As soon as we book anything into the, uh, the system, when it comes into stock, that's when it sends the emails out. So, and if you decide, actually, I don't want to know about this blue confetti dots anymore because the customer canceled, you can just unsubscribe and that gets, gets rid of it. So back up to my accounts and then down here you have your previous orders. Now there's two, two things you can do with the previous orders. You can view it. And the great thing about viewing a previous order, it just gives you all the information in one place but you've got this PDF invoice. And if you click on the PDF invoice, it downloads it and there it is. You can open that up. And this just gives you a very neat looking VAT invoice. It's got our VAT registration number. If you're registered for VAT, you need something that's got the VAT registration number on there in order to claim back the VAT. Um, for your order and you will either want to print this off and store it or send it to your accountant or um, anything like like that. So get rid of that. Oh, I'm going to go back onto full screen. Um, and so that's quite quite funky that you can just get those PDF invoices. And the other thing you can do there, where were we? Oh, okay is reorder items and this is what I mentioned at the beginning and th this is really funky so say you order 35 gram gold bubble and let's say the baby pink ones baby pink bubble weights on a regular basis and you've got plenty of orders you order them with every order because you've got a certain customer that does that orders them a lot or or you do a lot of pink baby things um, you can just do that. I've ticked it over here and I can just add that to my basket. So, and hopefully they will be here and there they are. So that's been added to the basket. And if it looks at your previous 10 orders, if you want to, you can um, look at more orders as well. But while we're here in the basket, we, you might've heard of a, a little um, retailer called Amazon. They sell things online and they've got a save for later um, functionality. So if you're anything like me and you have kids and you go into your Amazon account and you find 25 things have been added to your basket that you don't want and all you want is to order that pack of batteries or SD card or whatever it might be. Um, so you've got to go in and you've got to, you don't want to delete it all because that would really upset your, your children. Um, so you just save it for later. We can do exactly the same here by ticking these boxes. Say I want this number seven up here. That's all I want because a customer is um, really after it quickly. I can just highlight these and I'll just 
get rid of them all, but I don't want to get rid of them because I know I want them with my next order, just save for later. And then that moves to this saved items. And there you go, you can move those back if you want to. But at the moment now, if I go through checkout, I am just going through with this number seven. So it's, I, I, I think that's really, really funky. And then with your next order, say you just want to get your elves in ready for Christmas, you just highlight those ones and then you move those to basket. And there you go, they've been added back to your basket. If you decide you no longer want that number seven at all, you can do the same over on this side and it will delete it altogether. So yeah, quite, quite a funky bit of functionality, I think. I think it's really, really good. One thing I would like to say as well is if we look at, let's look at something we can get to quite easily, um, curling ribbon. Now, um, the stock numbers we have are actually the real stock numbers. So these are accurate, as accurate as they can be. Occasionally it does mess up if somebody was to order, two people were to order the same product at the same time and there's only one left, then the system fights over it effectively. It can't win, so it just takes it to minus one, accepts both orders, but the stock isn't quite right. It rarely happens, to be perfectly honest. So in most cases, the stock that you see is accurate stock and it really would only affect you if you were trying to order everything that we've got in got in stock so if you wanted 30 of those we might find that we've only got 29 if you only wanted to order one it doesn't really matter but our stock is accurate anytime we order new stuff in it's automatically added anytime something is sold it is automatically taken off but our stock is is accurate while I'm here, I'm going to show you something that we don't really talk about, don't really promote, but it might help you. If you find yourself on this, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to um, the 24 inch bubbles. And if you find yourself on a page and you find that you actually, I want the elegant roses, I want the entwined hearts, I want the filigree, I want all of these, rather than just doing that and that, adding to basket, you can actually just click on all the ones you want. I want five or six of those, and two or three of those, two of those. And if you hit any of the add to basket buttons, they will all be added to your basket. Um, it's actually the way the platform that we use was designed, but we wanted to be able to have it so that people could just add a single product if they wanted to. Um, so, yeah, we, we had that there. So, and as you can see as well on these products and on the product page itself, you can choose to add to basket or you can choose for it to go straight to your safe for later. So say you're browsing around the website, you see something, you know you're gonna need it for a job in a couple of months, but you don't need it right now. You can save that for later. Please bear in mind, this does not reserve stock for you. It just puts it into your basket. If the stock then runs out, then you wouldn't be able to to put, move that to your basket and buy it, but it, um, it, it does stay in there. Okay, so they are a few of the things I, I wanted to show you, and there's a few general things I want to share around the website. The first is delivery information. If you go into the delivery information up at the top there, we have all about our delivery. It's really interesting. Um, but also the, the really interesting part is the discount codes. So if you go spend over 90 pounds, you get free standard delivery. If you spend over 125, you get free express delivery. And if you spend over these on top of the free delivery, you get these other discounts off. So if you were to spend 250 pounds plus VAT, you would get your express delivery for free, which is 8.95 value and 15 pounds. So you're actually getting 23.95 off your order. Let's see if I've done my maths right. I think I have. 8.95 and 15. So that, uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, 23.95. So um, yeah, so it's a pretty decent discount. These are forever discount codes. Um, just make a note of those if you haven't already and you can get the more you spend basically the, the bigger the discount becomes. So that's, um, oh by the way, if you click on a logo on any website, it takes you back to the home page. Even though we've got the home button there, click on the logo, it's bigger. I always I like to do that. Um, a couple of other things, new products, go to new products page and that shows you all the new products there or you can have balloons, party wear, seasonal. 
click back to the home page. If you want to meet the team, that's a funky one that people seem to quite like. You can find out interesting facts about people. I think this is quite cool because if you're getting your packing slip and it's got people's name on it, you can put a face to, to the name. So there's Mark. He's a real rocket scientist. He really is. He's got master's degrees and all sorts of stuff. And Jim is part of a rock band called Natives. Uh, who else? Uh, Laura is quite new with us, only been with us seven or eight weeks, and she's mad about Harry Potter. Anyway, you can, you can, uh, there's some of them that if you click on them, you find out a little bit more. So there's a blog all about Vicky there as well. Um, the section I really wanted to show you is useful resources. Now, this is as it sounds, um, these, if you're looking for things to help you, um, the interactive pricing tool is probably the most used um, resource that we have. We did a video with Mark uh, th three years ago, I think it was, Mark from Qualitex, and we talked about um, pricing and how to price your, your products. And he showed me the Qualitex job cost form. I found it very confusing. And I'd been in business, I think, 12 years or 13 years at the time, and I found it confusing, so went away and we designed it, an interactive pricing tool on um, Excel, so you can just download it there, it's free, and hopefully it would, would help you there as well. And the last thing I really wanted to show you, oh, now we go back to useful resources, that's just the... the the pricing tool I showed you, but there's lots of other things. There's the Qualitex color charts, there's manufacturer resources. This is really useful because say you want to know the volume of a particular type of balloon, then Grabo balloon, for instance, you can come here and download the chart and you can find out what that that is um, there. You can also, yeah, premium um, Qualitex, in Qualitex you've got the color, you've got the same sort of charts where you've got the volume, but you've also got a Qualitex bubble inflation guide. You've got the double stuffing things uh, as, as well. So yeah, a really useful thing. But the last thing I wanted to show you, if you've not used it before, is live chat. Um, we found that people are really loving live chat. So let's, let's give it a go. Um, so let's start a chat with somebody. They're normally pretty quick. They don't know I'm going to do this. Um, so hopefully they will they will get back to me. Um, but it's pretty quick. It's oh, Vicky has answered. Oh, it looks like she's going to answer. Vicky's joined the chat. What's she going to say? This could be very embarrassing. What do you want now, Greg? Hello. Can you help me, please? I need to know the weight of uh, L size cylinder. Let's see if she knows the answer to this one. So you can just quickly ask questions and sometimes you don't want to have to pick up the phone um, or you're not able to if you're on the train or something like that and you don't really want to um, don't really want to be talking loudly about what you're doing in your business but we're finding now that more people are using live chat than um, actually phoning us so we find it really good that's that's really vicky by the way that's a real picture that's not a, a generic picture vicky is typing but she's clearly typing quite slowly come on vicky it's it, she either doesn't know the answer in which case this looks really bad um or she is just typing really slowly or maybe she's picked up the phone because she knows i'm there <laughs> do you actually need to know or are you testing the chat again ah she's giving it away i did test it earlier on just blown my cover. <laughs> it weighs 13 stone. Thanks. So they're pretty quick on there. I'm going to leave the chat now. I'm going to close that down and then I get to say if I liked Vicky or not. I'm going to say I did. So yeah, it's very, very useful. So there you go. A, a whistle stop tour of um, the Balloon Market website and some things that you might not have thought about before. And finally, for the end of our, our news show, 
Um, you might have seen that we put a social post out there. We all got high-vis jackets because we've got the unit over there now and we're crossing the courtyard. We all got high-vis jackets because there's lorries coming in and, and cars and whatever. And uh, we took a picture outside and here is that picture. And the question of the week is a very, very simple one. It's where's Matt? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye.